real quick guys there's one more cutscene. um this is part five but i'm gonna jump right into it It's getting blasted. What's happening? Respond. Ah. Anti-air batteries one to three. Why aren't my targeting systems online? Don't let a single one into the colony. <laughs> Assemble everyone who can fight. Evacuate the civilians to the shelter. Get a move yes, on. Sir. Fire at will. Wow. I blew up a couple of them. Oh, uh, what flew in front of that one? Got it. No, wait. What the? Our weapons don't work on them at all. What type of mechon is that? I've never seen one like it. You slackers, fire! Shoot it down! Oh, wow. <laughs> Boom! Here they come, all the mechon. Gunban's like, I must fight even though I can barely move. All right, let's get caught up now. Um, we are back. We are, we've been uh, up here to back mounted these cylinders, then Colony 9 got attacked. We are going to take a awesome shortcut that I found in my playthrough the other day. Right, where's the, right here. Just jump straight down into the water. For splash. Got an achievement for two making waves. We're going to run back into town. Anyway, this is part five of our playthrough as you play Chronicles, guys. One of the most piv pivotal, no, <laughs> pivotal starting areas uh, or story points of the game. Um, when when your hometown gets getting rampaged by Mechon. So let's get back in here. Trying to get back to town. In fact, what we should do is go into the area maps colony nine and we will just jump straight into town here oh you cannot currently skip to that landmark all right well we'll just run it then i thought i'd save you a few minutes but apparently we got to run this one that's okay though it's more immersive right I guess uh, because the, the the time cycle is independent of the story, you can you can be running around and uh, it can be daytime or nighttime when you come here. But I like I like having this fight at night. So what I'm gonna do is go in here to the um, change time. We're gonna set it to yeah, it's nighttime, right? Yeah, we're gonna set it to nighttime. Time has been changed. I just think it looks cooler with all the fire and everything at night. Oh. The villagers are all getting wrecked. The Homs. Here come our heroes. Ugh. Now the Mechanot cannot be hurt by traditional weaponry. Is Dunban okay? Fiora, go and check on him. Oh, okay. All right. 
so this is where the game i you guys remember me telling you they'll teach you slowly how the mechanics work this is where the game is saying you have to know this this uh, uh break and topple system here it's the only way to pass this boss heads up ryan if this thing wants to fight let's give it one all right So it's going to tell you party's changed inflict topple before attacking a mech on anyone can deal damage to a mech on if it's suffering topple it's been knocked over then you can do damage to it so it tells you to do break with shulk um which is this purple this pink one here see the bottom says inflicts break you got break on him now he'll topple him i'm only doing one damage until ryan does topple Come on. Ryan. Here we go. Come on. He did rage. He's pulling aggro. Oh, uh, come on, Ryan. Why is he not doing it? You can also control him. Break. I do it. There you go. Oh, he resisted it. That's why. If you heard him say uh, power down or whatever it was. If you get a chain attack going too, you can control, you can make him choose it. But I think he's using it. It's just getting resisted. All right, over here to the side. We're gonna break him again. Now do it. Bone upper. Here, do it. Do your attack. Hammer B is the aggro one. Why are you not doing this, Ryan? <laughs> See? Well, I guess we did enough damage without doing it. It's not that easy. We've disabled it, but only for now. Mm. It'll reactivate soon. She goes back to say he's not in there. He's gone. I can't find him anywhere. What? He ain't fit enough to face these things. Ryan, let's get to the lab. The lab? Of course. The Monado's, the Monado's there. there. Exactly. The Monado can take out Mekon. All right, here we go. We got our party here. Running away is a valid tactic. This is basically saying, don't think you got to fight every monster here. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to run right through them all. We're going to run to the lab because we'll get so much aggro here. Like we can fight this one, right? I'm gonna break it first. Wild down, see him resisting it. That's what is happening. I'm doing the break and he's doing wild down, but it's not working because he's, uh, he's doing a cut attack on me. Build up a chain attack and then I'll try to do it. Oh, I did two damage that time. No. I inflicted a break on him before. Now he's toppled. See it? Now we're doing way more damage to him than we were. I just wanted to really be able to show you that one because it's now we're only hitting for one and two damage when he's not toppled. Do a chain attack. Here we go. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the break. Then we're gonna do uh, wild down. That will topple him. He's toppled. Now her attack, hidden thorn, will will do the uh, inflict daze like we did in the last video. So we did not a whole lot of damage. But we we dazed him and toppled him, which is what we wanted. That got us, that got us killed. So or got 
got us to kill him so i wanted to be able to show that you know now we'll, we'll uh ooh, caravan leather top let's see what these are uh change equipment um leather top is a not a great upgrade for eh, it's a great upgrade for him we'll, we'll use that on him um did we get any more upgrades for him nah colony bottoms no uh middle gear nothing great uh yeah the embryon embryon helm was good for him so we'll do that and then we'll just keep on moving we're gonna go all the way to the to the to the base i don't even want to fight any of these guys to be honest i want to be able to get through this video at the end of this section in this video this might be a little bit longer than normal ones but i'm gonna take a break for today after this one so <laughs> uh oh Waluigi <laughs> What the hell are you? A uh, mech on with a face <laughs> Come in at me, will you? Mech on with a face Shove the grenade launcher what? Didn't even dent it Uh oh. It's not looking good. What's he doing? Oh! Smashed him with their own transport ship. Damn. That's cold. Just chucked it on him like it was a dog toy. All right, let's get back to the lab. See if we can get that Monado. So if there was ever a time for the matrix of leadership, it's now. That's an older reference for you guys. Uh oh. The Colonel, the guys. I'm going to destroy every last one of those damn mech on. Uh oh. Shulk, the entrance. Yeah, you think? No. We'll never get in there now. Wait. Let me think here. Shulk is thinking. Ryan, the aura. There's still the mobile artillery. Right. If we recharge it with those ether cylinders we collected, we can blast our way in. It's in the residential district. Great. All right. This is it. Time to avenge the colonel and the boys. Yes, let's do that. All right, so we're gonna go back to the residential district, get the mobile artillery, and um, come blast that door open. Dun 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 uh oh What the? Shulk! More from behind! We're surrounded! Right. Looks like you and I will have to cut a path through them. Looks like it. Fiora, Ryan and I will open up a path. Then you can run through. You two can't do this by yourselves. I want to fight as well. Get through. We'll be right behind you. We'll be right behind you, lady. Shulk. A year ago, Dunban and the Defense Force fought hard to protect the colony and all of us Homs. Now it's our turn to repay them. Please be all right. Here we go. Shulk. Ryan. Don't look so worried. We'll just get rid of these ones. Shulk won't get a scratch. Okay. I believe you. Go now, Fiora. Go now. We've opened up a hole. Ryan. Huh? You take care too. Of course. <laughs> Looks like she trusts me after all. She's like, I told you. finally. It's okay if you don't die too. 
All right, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and topple him, a break. Topple him down. That's not what I needed, but I don't worry. He's still broken. Focus, focus on him. That wasn't it. Wow. He's broke. Gonna hit too much. He's really irritating me by not doing the attack. I guess break. Now top him. There we go. Got one killed. All right. Now we're going to focus on the next flying one. Nope. Break. Do wild down. It's not it. Keep the break on him. He's broke again. There we got it. See how much more damage they take after that. All right. Now I have the aggro down. That'll help. That'll help him hold aggro from me. I'm gonna do a break here. Do wild down. Do wild down. Come on. There we go. Now, while he's toppled, we're going to do a chain attack. This is going to be good. He's toppled again. This should finish him off. All right. Woo! That was a close one. You were never cut out for this stuff. You if you spend some more time leveling before you get here, this isn't this difficult. But uh, his re he's getting resisted on some of his key abilities. Tell me about it. It's the Michael Bay shot there with the camera going around him while they're talking. Pretty cool. Ryan, behind you! Oh no! Oh Ryan! Oh, there's a lot more of them now. Get out of here! Short cut is stupid. <laughs> Hold on. Who is it? Could it be? Gunban with the Monado. Oh wow, he came in like Optimus Prime and just bossed it up. Look how much damage it's hurting him though. <laughs> Notice he's using it with his other hand, right? This is what I was waiting to see. Ready, lads. We've got Dunban here now. Let's focus on, focus on this one. Still going to knock him down. Got an achievement. He's broke. Strength down. But look, Dunban's just cutting him through like a hot knife through butter. Because he's he's got the Monado. But Monado does damage to them it can also boost everybody else's uh damage see how quickly we just melted through them They're nice one dunban you didn't waste any time on them mech on shulk where's fiora the residential district we said we'd meet her there looks like we'll have to take the long way round all right then we cut through the commercial district yes let's go get her all right so they do a really good job of making the Mechon seem really menacing and how important the Monado is. There's the mobile artillery. All right, we've got to get our butts through here. Go ahead and fight a couple of these. 
break. And we're we're just we're just hitting him so hard because he's buffing us with the Monado. Basically makes you uh hit him like trucks. Let's see. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. What was that we just got? Uh was that a weapon? We can't change his stuff. Um it's a blue item just dropped. Was it shoes? Ah, it was caravan boots. So let's look at what he's wearing on his feet. Caravan boots, a little bit more defense and a slot. I think we'll take it. We don't have enough gems to fill it out yet, but it's okay. Oh, one more thing. I'll, always make sure every now and then you check your arts because especially early on, you'd be leveling these up and you're missing out on some damage. So. I'm gonna, I'm going to get a little bit extra stream edge, um, mostly because it it um, increases its effect time and decreases its reuse time. Um, I'm gonna do another backslash. Check Ryan as well. He yeah, see a six hundred thirty-seven uh, art points that we can spend, and I want his wild down to be less resisted, so I'm gonna power it up a bit. And I'm going to power up his war swing. His war swing becomes really good at going into a, an, an area of monsters and taking up all the aggro real quick. So we'll go do that. Uh, wait, wait, fight this guy. Go back attack. Yeah. So maybe it is worth uh, picking these up because all these, uh, I don't know if you saw those cylinders I'm picking up. Those are basically um, things you're going to need for gym crafting later on, making those gems that go in your weapons. Um, I'll probably do a, a whole video on like how to best do that because it's a little bit convoluted. Um, so look for that. We're going to go straight through town here. Ah, oh, he moved. He's dead. All right, those cylinders, we'll, we'll want those for later. Like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode than we've had, so hopefully you guys are okay with that. It's worth it though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bypass some of these monsters. Maybe kill this big one here. Break. He's wilded down. Yeah, while they're on the ground, see it? Bam. You can get abilities later too to like extend how long they're knocked down. He didn't give me much. I thought he'd give me some good loot. All right, run by all these monsters. Let's get out of town here. Oh no, Dunban. Dunban, you can't take any more of the Monado. But I must. I don't have a choice. Oh no. Ryan's right. Coughing up blood. Like this. Always a bad sign. Shulk. Dunban. Hey. <sighs> this time, it's my time. Shulk, no! It'll kill you. This is so cool. <sighs> what? What's going on? It's like he put on What's the one ring. He sees the blast. Hits him and knocks him down. What the? Oh, Dunban doesn't even flinch when that. Wow. 
pretty awesome. <laughs> How could this be? Shulk is using the Monado. What was that? Shulk, more company. Rhine. Right. Rhine, Dunbar. I got your back. Shulk, do you feel all right? I'm okay. But there was something strange. Just now, it was as if I could see into the future. Is this another power of the Monado? Holy Marty McFly. See into the future? What are you saying? Uh, are you certain, Shulk? Yes. I see. I remember Dixon saying that the Monado had a hidden power. Could this be it? What? This is heavy, Doc. Don't think about it now. Just believe what the Monado showed you and fight. Just do what the magic space sword says. Silly. It's not even that hard. Alright, active Monado abilities. Basically, it's a second page in your ability bar and your art bar. And it has the left side is boost up your party with the Monado ability. Basically allows them to do more than one damage. And the right one is just a big old wallop with it called the uh, Monado Buster. Um, but you always want to as, as much as you want as much as you can you want to keep that party ability going We're gonna focus on this one Here's the boost tip purple Purple stuff goes everywhere. You need your party being able to do damage uh, Especially if you want your tank to be able to hold aggro Otherwise, there's gonna be on you the whole time That's party booster. We're gonna take that side attack Look at the Monado just melts him. Ugh. Put a heal on Ryan. Oops. I was trying to navigate around and then we the, those guys died. So we're going to go out of the uh, party range here. What are we doing? No, oh, we don't want to do that. We're going to go up the hill here. I don't know where we're going to go. This way. Um, you could, as you play this, you could kill all this stuff and XP up and level up. I'm just kind of getting through it so you guys can have an idea of what's going on next. I'll probably, between rounds, go back and farm up a bit so you guys can, we can kind of get to the point here in, in the playthrough and you don't have to watch all the mindless grinding because you'll have plenty of that to do yourself. I, I say mindless grinding. It's The combat is fun and engaging. That's the whole point of this system in my opinion. So here we are at the residential district. Oh, shoot. He's massive. That Mako, it has a face. That don't mean nothing. That's right. Not when we have the Monado. Yeah. All right. We're gonna give a boost to everybody, the purple boost like we want. Hit her on the side. It's doing one damage though. So we need to still. Oh, he resisted my topple. Make sure everybody's boosted up, enchanted. Uh, down. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this uh, de aggro button. But look, it's not doing any damage to him either. He's only level 10. What is going on? The Monado! It's not working! Oi! What do you mean? How can that be? The Monado should cut through Mekon with ease. Wh oh. What is that light? It means he's a Knight Rider. Other Mekon don't have that. Good. Sorry, all my Is references are 80s. Why the Monado has no effect. Sure. Right, get down, down, down. Stay back. I'll Great soundtrack. No, Great soundtrack. You can't take any more. Oh. I just got force lightning. Whoa, what? What hit him? Everyone, get away right now. Fiora. Fiora to the rescue. She's like girl power. And Shulk's like, wait, maybe, maybe this isn't such a good idea. What? What did 
I just... Fiora! Get back! I won't let you hurt any more people. We will save Colony 9! Oh, he saw that in the future, didn't he? In the face. Kaboom! <laughs> Whoa. She got him, but not enough. Like chucking her around like a rag doll in the thing. Ow! Fiora. They're still force lightning. Surely that didn't kill her, right? She's still okay. And then just to make sure you know, they show this. I'll kill you! Wow. The Monado has no effect on mech on the faces. You will have to inflict a break and topple before you'll be able to deal damage. It may be difficult to inflict break on larger monsters because they resist. They're higher than you. Uh, but you can use a chain attack to do it. Alright. Break. Alright, we're about to do one. Alright, we're gonna do a chain attack here. Which starts with uh, Shulk doing the um, break. Then Ryan will do topple. Dunban can do inflicts topple on a s enemy suffering break. Well, we've already got that. Gale slash lower strength. Gale slash inflicts bleed. We'll inflict bleed if they can be bled. 774 damage while they're down. Good job, everyone. While he's down, I'm gonna hit him with one of these. Bam. So he's still toppled. Okay. We just toppled him the one time. I see his face is all messed up. Oh! Through the brain! He sees him pull him back. Wow. Just star streamed out of there. Gets me every time. Thank you guys for sticking with me. This is a longer episode, but I wanted to get all of this in here. Leave it as a cliffhanger for part six, I think is next. Fiora. Ah, oh, the breeze feels so good. Yeah, I'd forgotten what it feels like. 
I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this always. Hmm, maybe not now. Hey. Have you been to see Dunban? Yeah. I just can't do it. You got more guts than me. Not at all. It was him that consoled me. Oh. I guess that's the type of guy he is. Yeah. Even without the Monado, he's the strongest person I know. Shulk, how are you holding up? I'm fine, but you... I will shed no tears. Huh? A year ago, I felt the same sense of deep loss that I do now. The Battle of Sword Valley. After that battle, many of my friends did not make it home. While I was being brought here on that stretcher, they were all I thought about. <sighs> but I decided I would not cry. Everyone who died in that war had something they wanted to protect. Family, friends, loved ones, their home. So they fought to protect them. And we won. No matter how painful, no matter how hard, it's nothing to be sad about. I decided that there and then. Dumban. Shulk, Fiora would tell you the same thing. <sighs> She wanted to protect us. Or rather, she wanted to protect you. And you're alive now. So, I will not cry. Okay. Remember the gift of life that Fiora gave you. And treasure it. I... I can't say that I understand. But... I hope to. Someday. That is all I ask. Believe me, I'm always just trying to understand. There we go. Treasure the gift of life that Fiora gave you. He's one of a kind, that Dunban. I've made a decision. Huh? My purpose in life. I will pursue that faced Mekon. Shulk. They attacked our colony. Kill Fiora. I will find that Mekon. Find it and destroy it. Destroy them all. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry. It's just a bit weird. I never thought you'd be the one to say it. So you agree? Of course, man. I'm just surprised you came out with it first. <laughs> I thought I'd try and talk you out of it. That's not what Fiora would want. That sound right? Yeah. Something like that. I thought you'd <laughs> give me a hard time. In my head, there are two versions of me. One of them is saying that. It's telling me, listen to what Dunban said. What about the other one? It keeps shouting, make them pay. Destroy every single one of them. Damn. And it won't stop getting louder. That doesn't sound like you. Sure, it ain't my voice in there. Might be. It's a bit of a loud mouth. <laughs> there you go then. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how our journey begins. So. When are we heading off? Right now. Perfect. Our heroes now have motive, a goal. Right then. Yeah. One last look. Look goodbye over your shoulders to your family and Look friends. Ourselves, boys. As soon as this heals, I'll be right behind you. Hmm? And 
then we will seize our destiny. Seize our together. destiny together. There we go, guys. We are um we are now level 10, probably. Yeah, 10. We are heading out of colony nine to go on an adventure to get revenge on these scumbags that did us wrong. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there. Um, so guys, thank you so much for being here for, I believe that was part five. Look forward to seeing you for part six um, in this playlist. Go ahead and hit follow, subscribe, leave me some comments, what you think about the file or the, the link to these videos and anything else you can think of. Give me tips, pointers, anything you guys want. I, I read every message. I may not respond to everyone, but I read every message. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.